thanks for coming out. We're very excited to be here uh, playing for you guys. Uh, to get started with the Herald, can we have a suggestion of anything at all? Surgery. Surgery. Thank you very much. Stainless steel. Absolutely, perfectly free of any sort of microbes and That disease. smell that only exists in a hospital. This body is stripped of all its skin, so all of its muscles and tendons and ligaments are exposed. Mm -hmm. The faint smell of formaldehyde and sickness wafts in through underneath the surgery door. <laughs> this man was hit by a car while walking across the street. His family waits outside. They don't know yet of his condition. <laughs> this medical school student doesn't really want to be a medical school student. He just wanted really to study literature. But his parents put the pressure on him to be a medical school student. He wanted to go to school and play football and maybe meet a gal that would that would happen as convertible and go down the beach with him. He felt he owed something to his parents because they gave birth to him. <laughs> he was ROTC while he was at the university because he had to pay his own way through. His parents are waiting outside for him right now. They don't know of his condition. <laughs> <laughs> this stethoscope has never been used. It's still in its package. Stainless steel on the step part. <laughs> Plastic on the scope part. <laughs> Even though it's for nobody in particular, it has an inscription that says, From Daddy, I Love You. <laughs> its street name is The Snake. <laughs> it's, it's been designed to permanently stay cold. It longs to hear a beating human heart. But it also longs to taste and maybe even to see. It thinks it's only situated on one sense. Next to it sits a bunch of other tools that are pr pretty mad at this guy because he gets a lot of use. <laughs> a group of larger stethoscopes is waiting outside. They don't know of its condition. <laughs> This is the day I passed away. Quit breathing like that. <laughs> what am I breathing? <laughs> Through your nose, heavily. <laughs> Here, baby, sit down. Sit down. I just, I just feel like I have a heartbeat in my head and it's about to explode. Listen, if I die... <laughs> no, this is a bad one. If I... <laughs> if I die, I, I just want to let you know that if I go into a coma... <laughs> I should write this down, but I just have such a bad headache. All right. I'll write it down, Mom. I'll write it down. Writing, 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 that's all you do! <laughs> do you need some Vicks? Yeah, or... no, I need like two potatoes. <laughs> two potatoes. You hold them against your temples. Is that right? We do? No, I do. <laughs> People do when they get these horrible. My, oh. Should I clean them off first? No, forget it. It's too late. Against the window pane falls a drop of rain and she hears it. Oh, what drop. was that? <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that? Tom Skilling said it might rain. <laughs> Sorry you don't feel good, Mom. It's gonna be a bad one. It's gonna be a real bad one. What? Do something. What? Can I help I you? I can feel it. I can feel it in here. Some some people are gonna die in the storm. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do to stop it? Stop the rain. Is that so crazy? Stop. 